Alexander King Kong Romanov is an 11-0 heavyweight fighting out of Moldova. All wins by finish, 6 by KO, and 5 by submission. The 265er aims to debut in late April at UFC Lincoln. Backtracking to 2016, Romanov already a crispy 3-0 after two first-round rear-naked chokes and a submission from deep waters in round three. Now the battle of undefeateds, Ukrainian Evgeny Golub at 2-0. Start of the fight, Romanov closes distance, threatening him with the single leg, then driving him into the cage. Seconds later, body lock from 50-50 is enough for King Kong to take it to the mat. Now easily moving from half guard into mount, and moments later, he's rocking Golub's world with heavy shots. Cannot get the big boy off him, ref has seen enough. King Kong climbs to 4-0, looking dominant and needing just 48 seconds to stop his opponent. Don't be fooled by the build, easy to see the agility with the trip and the strength just demoralizing him in full mount. Next fight against 12-37 Yuri Gorbenko on an 11-fight losing streak. Gotta credit the man for sticking to it, he's got the experience. First minute, Alexander dives in for the double leg quickly, making it look easy, picking the big boy up. Gorbanko threatening the choke so Romanov smart to slam him into side control to avoid danger. Two minutes later, choke attempt again, but Alex says, you thought, picks up the single leg and dumps him right down. Nice sweep as he moves into mount. Moments later, forearm pinning the neck, just nasty. He has the arm tied up too and forces the tap. Was that an Ezekiel? Alexander Romanov earns win number five with the Ezekiel choke. Third sub inside one round. He had the arm locked up in that submission, which I think is different than Alexia Linux version. Either way, both make Mr. Ezekiel very, very proud. Fifth and final fight of 2017 against Ravshankan Kushanov. Probably butchered that with a record of two and one fighting out of Uzbekistan. 30 seconds gone, body kick catches Kushanov on the chin as he ducks right into it, looking takedown. Minute later, Romanov sees what's coming and reverses it for his own trip takedown, muscling Kushanov into half guard. Just moments later, easy pass into full mount, and now look at this ground and pound, double hammers looking like a gorilla, doing everything to end it as Kushanov simply cannot get Romanov off. Alexander Romanov shows off the nasty for his sixth straight win. King Kong is so overpowering with his takedowns, and once he gets you down, good luck bucking this beast off ya. TKO in a minute 37. On to 2018, Romanov gets his first big test for the interim heavyweight title facing 17-6 St. Alexander Stoyarov. His Holiness standing tall at 6'6". First minute action, Alex poking and prodding, quick dive in for the double leg, running him into the ground. Stolyarov's head bashes off the fence as Romanov clocks into work, pummeling him until the ref peels him off. Alexander Romanov takes only 36 seconds to pound out his opponent and earn the Eagles Fighting Championship strap. He's now 7-0 with three stoppages inside one minute. This guy's like Volkan Ozdemir, he's got no time. Next up, 40-year-old Ion Grigore with a spotless record, but only 2-0. Grigore late to the game and EFC deemed him not a title contender, so no strap on the line tonight. First minute, first frame, Romanov closes distance with the high kick, clinches up and delivers two big knees. Quick and agile from King Kong. Minute later, still controlling the clinch, he's going body lock and gets it, throwing him across his body and down to the mat Alexander Carolyn style. Two minutes later, Romanov wearing him down, gets the forearm across the neck and just pins him down using the lock behind the arm. Not sure what that's called, maybe just a forearm choke, but either way, just brutality from Alexander Romanov. King Kong now 8-0, letting opponents know he's bringing the nasty all night long. 
Romanov moved on to a Russian promotion for his next fight, a round one neck crank, sadly no footage. Now back in Moldova facing 6-3 Sultan Murtazaliev, who actually wrestled Romanov in the amateur ranks way, way back. Glove touch and we're rolling. King Kong comes at him with a heavy body kick, stinging Sultan. Minute and a half later, Romanov simply overpowers him, gets him up from the bottom, and picks up the single leg, hikes it all the way up, making the trip fundamental. Minute 40 left, Hurricane Alexander started with that swing and miss, crashes him into the cage, finds the body lock, and able to pick another heavyweight up and slam him right down. On to round two, Sultan clips Romanov, but ducks right into a knee, then gets smashed and muscled down by King Kong, absolutely ferocious. Alexander still controlling on the ground, never seen these type of knees to the midsection, but looking brutal. End of round two, Romanov kick caught, but then he backwards rolls out of it. Big man athleticism. He's not done. Comes at him with a vengeance as the bell dings. Round three now, Romanov pinning the head down. Murtazaliev in a world of hurt as the Moldovan opens it up with some huge elbows and hammer fists. Moments later, Sultan cannot escape and the referee forced to call it. Alexander Romanov caps off 2018 returning to EFC and earning a three round beatdown for win number 10. He dealt with the most blowback in this fight with a takedown against and a depleted gas tank but he found energy in the third. The grappling proved to be too much again and is the key to another King Kong victory. Most recent action from February 2019 versus 6-0 Sergio Lafuerte Freitas. Of course, the Brazilian has a black belt in BJJ. Interesting matchup here for Romanov. Opening seconds, King Kong rolls him to sleep, then explodes into the takedown attempt, crushing Freitas into the ground. Almost broke through the canvas. Minute and a half later, Freitas back up, but not for long. Body lock on Romanov as he goes suplex on him. Magnitude 6.9 on the Richter scale. Moments later, Romanov spreads them all out, gets the back mount, and Freitas taps all of a sudden and can't even see what he got him with. Look at the opposite angle replay here. Looks kind of like Romanov put him in some kind of twister. Modified, maybe. I don't know, I'm just a white belt, but Alexander ends up with win number 11 somehow. Still a dominant display that earned him a UFC contract, and he hopes to make his debut late April at UFC Lincoln. We'll be crossing our fingers.